So you come out to your hangar only to discover that your favorite airplane has a rip in the covering. What do you do? In this episode, I'm going to show you how to fix the small little tears all the way up to patching a larger hole. Hi, I'm JR, the Traveling Tech Guy. If you want to learn the ins and outs of RC model airplanes, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification so you'll never miss an episode like this one. The tools you're going to need for this repair job are going to be a good sealing iron with variable temperature control, an X-Acto knife, a straight edge, tape measure, as well as the cover. So if you're interested in picking up some of these tools that I'm using in this video, be sure to check down in the description below where I'll have links to my affiliate account for you to pick them up. Now if you do use those links, I get a small commission from the sale. Doesn't cost you any more on your purchase, but that small little bit of commission does help me to create more content like this. Now you want to make sure that you have a good covering on your iron. They make little socks that fit these irons that protects the surface of your airplane. Over time, the more you use the iron, the more remnants of the adhesive as well as any other little debris gets on the bottom of the iron and could lead to scratching your covering in the future. Now, if you don't have the official sock covering to fit the iron, you can use one of your old ratty socks like I did on mine. Now, I do have a cover to fit my iron, but I don't know where it's at. It's somewhere in my mess. Let's start by cleaning the area so that the adhesive on the covering will have a good place to bond to. trimming out this piece you want to make sure that you don't go too deep with your knife as you could cut the film underneath then you'll have to patch that area as well now if you have to patch or replace the covering on the whole wing in this case the elevator you want to start from the bottom side first and then overlap the top side to the bottom this keeps the wind from working the covering loose over time and then peeling your covering off Okay, next, take out your measuring tape, and you want to measure out what size covering you're going to need. And you can overlap it about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch, all the way around, depending on how much space you have. All right, knowing that we need at least a two and three quarter by two and a quarter section, we're just going to measure it out here. And what I like to do is I like to go over a little bit. It's going to come about three inch. Once you have your patch cut to the size that you want, then just set it over there and look at it, see if there's any further trimming that needs to be done. Then we can move on to ironing it down. Now with this covering, it does have a sticky backing. And the way that the uh, covering sticks is when you heat it up, the adhesive is heat activated. Now, it'll glue to the covering just fine, but if you have any wood that you can put it to, That'll make it an even stronger bond. Now while your iron is heating up, it's a good time to go ahead and start peeling back the backing off of the cover. Good idea to come along here and seal up where you cut so it doesn't make a flap. And you want a good, nice edge for your new covering to have uh, some adhesion to and it doesn't take much 
as you see I've got my old sock as I mentioned I don't have a clue where the actual one is okay now that we have somewhat of a good edge there we can bring our piece over and then match it up on here get it evenly distributed and what I like to do is I like to tack one end of it first and you don't want to stay on it too long because you can burn through the covering so you want to just pull it nice and taut and tack it on the ends at all four corners would be a good idea And then let's do this corner here and then we'll go over it to remove wrinkles and you don't have to go super slow you just want to be methodical and not stay on it too too much because it will shrink up and you can just come over it and to get work all the wrinkles out now if you get any air bubbles you can take a little pin and pop those little air bubbles and it will tighten the covering up just nicely just carefully work out because you want it nice and tight that cool down a little bit and there we now have a patched wing or in this case an elevator then once you have your patch nice and smooth and it looks good the only thing left to do is to go flying so if you want to learn more on how to become an RC pilot and you're like me on an extreme tight budget be sure to check out some uh, other videos on how to get started flying in this great hobby till next time